so in this video we are going to see if we can get to our server active directory uh, in our last video in windows admin center uh, we tried uh, to manage active directory from the web interface and we failed the reason was that we were in this windows admin is center is to manage servers or other computers and we were trying to get that uh, <coughs> to work but we were not looking in the right place where we can actually go and install it so today what we're gonna do is install the um, <coughs> active directory and then try to manage our server let's do that so I had to go and search it and I found it <clears throat> this was the uh, video we tried our best could not so basically in here <clears throat> rather than to go to roles and features uh, right here you are adding these features or roles to your server we don't want to we wanted this to be here so for that you will go to settings <clears throat> go to extensions I actually searched this and found like uh, Microsoft Docs <coughs> they're great help they give you everything so this is the one active directory preview it's still a part of an extension and not something uh, that gets installed automatically so this is the one that we need to get uh, if this is available we click install so first select it and then install and hopefully what I want to do is I just want to see my whole Active Directory listing and possibly try to change a password for a user <coughs> extension settings go to extensions and extension update is available that is the security center uh, but you see uh, the extension has gone from here it should be installed so the next uh, tab is install extension if I click on that it should be listed there and there it is and it says status installed so if I click on it either I can uninstall it or I can yep so I can uninstall it so I cannot go to it yet let's see if it's under server manager it like it shows up there if I click on extend uh, server right there active directory is now in here before it was not and we tried so hard let's see if it's showing up information from my uh, that is the domain for reset password create what we have a user group and organizational unit uh, so oh from browse Overview is just a tab that you can search. So if I were to search Aslan, it will give me both users. But Browse is the one that we are so used to, and we are seeing uh, everything in, in the order in our server manager. If I can show you uh, tools and users and computers, is going to show up here in a moment. In a moment, so let's go back there so you see everything is here we can click on it so if I can show you side by side here uh, yes so you see this is the all users all users the next one is built in then computers down domain controllers foreign security principle government that's the one that I created and it's showing some others that probably keys lost and found probably if they are there I am not sure where they are buried so somewhere but I get everything on my web interface so I can manage see if I were to create a user in here uh, like normally uh, if I click on all users I get the group Ellen president and groups this is the uh, oh, you see it's the folder and it has the exact same thing in there as well so all the users should be in here like if I click on users uh, so for users I have to go oh this one is managed like 
um, in a ascending order so these are all of the users I created or wind or it has built in in there so all of them if you can see like this PDQ inventory that's the one I can create it to do the inventory video uh, and then there should be a, another deploy with as well <clears throat> so everything is in here and I can let's click here <clears throat> so it's giving me an option to create more what's more enable disable reset password so if I were to click on a user for example George Bush and it's giving me user account all that information and <clears throat> I can enable this remove reset or properties if I click properties I get to the exact same thing that I if I were to click here and get the where is she W Bush right there and properties so you can see I get kind of that page uh, but in a limited manner so I don't have everything in here it's just like uh, it would be to give access to a helpless guy to change passwords and do normal stuff like real basic not as advanced as you can do from the active directory from the server or from our set tool um, so this is good so you can do the ad membership and give them to a group name if I click on account I can do the basic things and let's uh, oh, again I did that I wanted to go to the user and let's click on first users and then let's see as land so if for create I have the exact same thing even if I have clicked on the user uh, this is the to create user group or organizational unit this is the one there where the user related stuff happens uh, even though it's enabled user I can it's still offering me to enable then disable is uh, blocked at the moment grayed out reset password and properties so that's the active directory that's what we were looking for um, I'm glad we found it it's another way that you can talk about uh, and you know in the interview that yeah I've tried that from the web interface as well if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one